Nick speaking and welcome to this video right another update for my uh, painting challenge the year of the wolf and um, I'm still base coating basically uh, so I've done a, about another five hours of base coating um, yeah still got a lot to do but let me show you what I've done uh, so first of all I started with the bolt guns now bearing in mind that um, I've, obviously I've got mixed armor here so uh, they've all got different bolt guns uh, so I've got that one there, he's got a Space Wolf's gun, and I've also painted his uh, sword blade. Uh, what else did I do? Touched up a little bit on his foot. Uh, that's pretty much it on that guy there. Uh, and this one. Again, I've done some work on his uh, bolt gun and on his little knife. I've also done the chains and the little rivets on his body. Now I still have to go in and tidy all this up. Once I've got all the colours down, I need to go over with the, all the black areas and just re-black them in and tidy them. So that's him. And this guy here, another Space Wolf's gum. Done his little uh, skull on that uh, shoulder pad. Coming around, uh, done the little uh, gold and silver sections on his helmet also painted his blade up there so the colors gradually coming out on these guys and this one here just worked on his helmet there basically done a few little rivets and stuff that's the Empress children helmets uh, this one here worked on his chest piece um, and also obviously his gun, so he has uh, Empress Children gun, which is uh, gold and silver. Just did his blade there, not quite sure how to paint that actually, I need to research that. Never painted one of those axes before. Uh, next guy, he has a Space Wolves gun, actually with the Space Wolves logo on this one. Painted that spike on his Empress Children glove and I think you've seen the rest, yeah, I just painted the blade on the chainsaw. So that's him. And then this guy with the little chain, painted that up. Um, he's got a Black Legion bolt gun, which is uh, basically just silver. The only thing that's gold is the, um, uh, the bullet section. And I've worked on this section here as well, just based that down. So he's coming along quite nicely. Again, I've done the um, the bolts, uh, the rivets and stuff on his Empress Children uh, chest plate. And then the next guy, don't think there's a lot on him actually done. No, he's nothing on him. Nothing on that guy because that's all Space Wolves got to go in with that. And then the banner guy, I've. Uh, well, let's start with the bolt gun. So again, he's got Empress Children bolt gun. I've done uh, some cleaning up on some of this area, uh, but mainly I've painted the pole. So that's been painted there. Obviously, once that's all washed down, that will uh, dull down quite nicely. So um, I seem to be doing little tips actually uh, <laughs> on these videos. So why not? Let's have another tip for you. So uh, when painting. Uh, with metallic paints, uh, what I find the most useful thing to do um, is to thin them down rather than thin thinning them down with water is to actually use the glaze medium uh, to thin them down and that really really um, helps the paint um, basically it, it waters down the paint but it stops it going all gloppy and horrible uh, really really useful uh, stuff to, to put that in your metallic paints and it comes out really really smooth as you can see from there now once they're washed um, and then highlighted hopefully they'll look uh, pretty cool those blades um, yes so I think that's it really I, mean, I have done some um, silvering in on the melter gun and the plasma gun but I'm not actually 100% sure how I'm going to paint those yet uh, still deciding uh, so yeah, I've got uh, a lot more work to do. So it's taken a long time, mainly because um, I'm painting the three armors. And I'm not 100% sure where everything's going. So once I've laid down all the base coats, it should speed up. Um, and then in the future, when I do my next unit, uh, I'll know exactly where all the colors are going. So uh, slightly longer progress than maybe um, 
No, it, it could be, but uh, it's guessing there. And um, now I've got all those different colours on there. The unit's starting to take shape, which is great. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue base coating, and uh, I'll be back in uh, another video. Thanks for watching.